Hey everyone, welcome back to Bull Market Bully, your go-to channel for stocks. Today, we're diving into Spirit Airlines, ticker symbol SAVE. Stick around for a bonus tip on the volatile airline sector. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's jump right in. Spirit Airlines is known for its ultra-low-cost model, offering cheap base fares but compensates with fees for baggage, seat selection, and other services. This strategy keeps Spirit competitive, targeting budget travelers who prioritize low costs. However, with rising competition and a failed merger, Spirit faces significant challenges. First off, let's talk numbers. Spirit's revenue for the most recent quarter was $3.18 billion, but they're operating at a loss, with a net income of negative $576.77 million. Profit margins are deeply negative at negative 18.20%, showing the company is struggling. Their high P.E. ratio of 290 indicates a very high stock price relative to earnings. The current price is just $1.61, down 89.80% from last year's high. Add to that a debt load of $7.41 billion, and it's clear that Spirit has significant financial challenges ahead. Now, let's look at the market. Spirit terminated its merger with JetBlue due to regulatory roadblocks. This leaves Spirit in a tricky spot as Frontier, Allegiant, and Sun Country aim to grab market share. Their main competitors, American, Southwest, United, and Delta, are bigger and more diversified. Rising fuel prices and maintenance issues add extra turbulence to Spirit's flight path. Like and subscribe to Bull Market Bully, your support keeps the channel growing. Future Prospects Store Expansion Online Presence and Challenges Spirit's biggest challenge is cutting costs without sacrificing its ultra-low-cost model. With increased fuel prices and growing competition, they need to improve operational efficiency. Non-ticket revenues from baggage, seating, and other services provide a reliable income stream. But, will it be enough to offset the rising costs and competition? Time will tell, but for now, Spirit seems to be in a holding pattern. So, is Spirit a buy, hold, or sell? With high volatility and significant downside risk, it's not a stock for the faint-hearted. Day traders might find some value here with big price swings, but long-term investors need to approach cautiously. Spirit's beta is 1.38, meaning it's more volatile than the market. Expect more dramatic ups and downs. With high debt and uncertain profitability, Spirit is for high-risk, high-reward seekers. So, what's the final grade for Spirit Airlines? I'd rate Spirit a C-. They have a unique position in the low-cost market, but rising debt and negative margins paint a bleak picture. They're in survival mode, and without a clear path to profitability, it's hard to see major upside. And as promised, here's your bonus tip. When investing in airlines, watch oil prices. Fuel costs impact airlines, and oil spikes can eat into profits. Hedge by investing in energy companies or ETFs that gain with rising oil prices. This balances your portfolio against airline industry volatility. That's it for today's stock review on Spirit Airlines. Don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment if you're holding Spirit, and subscribe to Bull Market Bully for more stock analysis. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.